baba ya mtoto akaanza kulia akisema pesa zake ni kama azionekani nilimpata na nikapata analia sana kuna watu walikuwa wamempigia that time at pesa yake imepotea ndia what happened kwa hiyo sim card yako ndio ikaleta ikafanya wewe ukaanza ku feel ni kama eh, pesa zako hazikufikii ikuja ikafika pahari sasa mimi nika, nikaona eh hey, kwani nakuja kufanywa interview tena ina, inarudi sasa inakuwa watu wananigeuka Jeff alikula pesa yako kweli because hiyo hivyo ndivyo claims zimekuwa yeah. na ama kama si Jeff kuna mtu mwingine kuna mtu mwingine labda amekula hiyo pesa ama mimi nimedhiriteniwa hata kuna swali nidhiriteni mpaka nikoleza mko wapi nikuje tu badala kuna haso kubwa ya kunitafuta hello guys karibuni sana kwa online media kama vile mnaona tuko online media nyingi sana hapa so guys eh, kuna story tulikuwa tumefanya ama kuna story ilifanywa na one of our colleague eh, ya Kim mwana Kim akitrend sana pale YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. So ika, ikafika place sijui what happened kukaanza kukuwa na rumors that uh, kuna watu wamefanyia watu wa online media wamefanyia kim interview then sijui wamepeana namba zao uh, bla 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 story nyingi na ikaleta tension sana. So we have come here to clarify to say what happened so that mkiona story ikienea huko hiyo mjue hiyo si yetu. So uh, kuna kuna interview moja ilifanywa na uh, Je, Jeff anaitwa Jeff Morori TV ya interview ya Ujama alikuwa ana, anataka mtu atamsaidia na nini na nini because anapitia hata mkiona hapa penye tunasimama sijui kama mnasikia movie, movement ya water hapo hivyo chini hiyo ni siwe mbaya sana hata tunajikaza sana kupumua <coughs> so as you can see vile tuko hapa tunataka ku clarify something Eh, kuna interview Jeff alifanya na Jeff akapeana namba ya 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 huyu eh, akapeana namba yake pale YouTube watu wakaanza kutuma pesa from abroad wakamtumia pesa i think kuna kuna misunderstanding ili, ilikuja because Jeff hakuona flow ya pesa na kuna watu wanasema uh, i mean huyu baba ya mtoto hakuona flow ya pesa na kuna watu wanamwambia pesa imeingia so ikakuwa hapo ikaanza ku raise issues Then my sister hapa atajieleza Cecilia eh akakuja akafanya interview but in the process ya interview eh, baba ya mtoto akaanza kulia akisema pesa zake ni kama azionekani so i think utatuelezea hapo Cecilia yeah, then you start from there ndio tujue what happened Okay guys naitwa Cecilia mimi ndio nilifanya interview ya Kim nilimpata na nikapata analia sana na ndio as a content creator nikamwambia unaweza nipe hiyo interview uambie watu juu alisema kuna watu walikuwa wamempigia that time at pesa yake imepotea yeah so eh, vile unasikia kuna pesa ilikuwa imepotea so tungependa as, as we speak now kumekuwa na issue hata imekuwa police case because eh, kuna people who are threatening some of the content creators ama the youtubers kuna atisijui channel zao zita, e, zina zinafanya wizi vitu kama hizo in which e, kuna i think kulikuwa na misunderstanding around 50000 yeah ikakuwa ati Jeff amechukua hiyo um, 50000 sijui haijafikia my brother hapa so kukakuwa na threats na i think Jeff akifanya hiyo story alikuwa anafanya kusaidia ujamaa because ile kitu anapitia na kubeba mtoto na kuenda ku hustle na yeye ilikuwa story noma na hata Jeff hakujua kuna mali kutakuwa na contribution alifanya story tu kama vile anafanyanga anakavanga stories zingine okay. then watu waka waka waka, waka request wa contribute mm -hmm. uh, and that is what is being happening uh, kuna kuna story hata tumeupload pale Castro Media pia jana na people wame wamejisha namba ya, ya ya my brother hapa wanasema wa contribute mwingine anataka kununua pampas mwingine anataka kununua maziwa so tuna tuka pin namba yake hapo so watu wamekuwa wakimtumia pesa so i think um, utatuambia what happened kwa hiyo sim card yako ndio ikaleta ikafanya wewe ukaanza ku feel ni kama eh, pesa zako hazikufikii so i think you will start from there yeah kwa majina ni Joram Kemani mwenye mmesikia ni baba Elvis asanteni sana kuna issue ilikuwa tu kidogo but tume solve juu wakati nilikuwa nafanywa kuna interview tulikuwa tunafanya na watu wengine saa mimi tukamalizana nao na wakaenda sasa ilifika pahali mimi nikaingia kwa nyumba simu yangu saa hii inaisha moto kwa haraka sasa venye inaisha moto kwa haraka mimi ni connect kwa charger ku connect kwa charger mimi situmie ngi simu ikiwa kwa moto nikaacha iingie moto mpaka ifike percent yenye nataka ndio niitumie sasa wakati nilienda kuchukua simu nilichukua simu na nikapata mstuko kwa simu juu nilipata Jeff 
alikuwa ameniuliza swali na usi kumjibu i hope hapo niko na makosa juu jeff aliniuliza about saa hii venye tunaweza taka kukufanyia kim tunaweza taka kuwa na maendeleo kwa wako umehama hapo at least hadi mtoto wako safe pali muko umbo wa asubuhi siweji kama hii ya asubuhi muko pali safe sasa mimi si kumjibu lakini si kufuata venye watu walikuwa wana, wana comment lakini pali nilipata nilipata jeff amepin namba yake hapo kuvenye nilipata jeff amepin namba yake hapo nikashindwa ni nini mbaya kushindwa ni nini mbaya no ovo alikuwa ameniuliza mimi ndio si kurudisha message yake juu sasa simu ilikuwa kwa moto sasa venye mimi niliona hivyo nilipata na mshtuko nikashindwa eh what's wrong juu sasa jeff ameka namba yake no si kwa ubaya juu jeff alikuwa anataka kuonesha watu tunasonga mbele aturudi nyuma sasa ilikuja ikafika pahali sasa mimi nikaona nika eh kwani nakuja kufanywa interview tena ina, inarudi sasa inakuwa watu wananigeuka unaona juu kuna mwingine bado wamenifanyia interview sijui mna mjua mzae hivi eh, tulikuwa tunaongea naye Kiswahili but sijui hadi yetu ya communicate na yeye na sijui venye kunaendelea hata aje nipigia simu akaniambia venye kuko unaona sasa hata pia wewe unaweza kuwa na hofu eh, lakini brother kuna kitu moja nitakwambia mm -hmm. Eh, tuna, mtu anaweza fanya interview na weke interview kwa channel yake uh -huh. but it doesn't mean that kila mtu ata, kila interview kuna mtu atakutumia pesa so kuna mtu anaweza weka content amefanya tu interview ame share your story uh -huh. lakini even a single person hakuna mtu amejitokeza maybe anaweza taka kukusupport na kipesa that's why unaweza sikia mtu kama amenyamaza that's why unaonanga sisi tukifanyia mtu interview uh -huh. kama ni mtu anahitaji msaada tunawekanga namba yake pale yeah. because we don't follow uh -huh. at sijui after the interview sijui umetumiwa na nani sijui umefanywa nini uh -huh. but sasa hii story ya Jeff i think nyinyi mtatuelezea mzuri i think Jeff ako hapa yeah. atatuelezea mzuri what happened na ndio namba yake ingia hapo uh -huh. what happened because hapo ndio maswali ilianza kuingia yeah. Yes. And maybe yeah. before that, yeah. before that, uh, atueleze juu claims zimekuwa content creators wana, wana mtumia, wana kula pesa zake. Yeah. Before Jeff I come in, because you have Jeff here, and uh, tunataka utuambie, Jeff alikula pesa ya kukweli, because the, yo, even the claims zimekuwa yeah. na... Ama kama si Jeff, kuna mtu mwingine. Kuna mtu mwingine, labda amekula hiyo pesa ama... Unajua kuna kitu moja mtu wanafanyanga, jusasa mwenye alinipigia simu, alinipigia na akaniambia kuna pesa nimekutumia so ningekuwa kwa simu yake ingekuwa fadhali ama angenitumia message anionyeshe jehu nilimtumia pesa hapo hapo kuna makosa bado lakini mimi nashukuru jeff na nimtuwe heshima sana nimemuomba msamaha kabisa nimemuomba msamaha na nimemwambia pole kwa yale ilitokea jumi niliongea nikiwa na machungu bado still unaona nafikiria mambo mengi juu sasa naona niliachwa na bibi kwangu kwangu ku, kwenye nakani shida sasa unaona pia wewe unaweza kuwa na mind buy na ku, kuongea yani nikamuomba msamaha na Jeff i hope tutasikia ama amenisamea ama ajanisamea okay. nimemuomba msamaha sana na naweza taka mimi kuna video tulichukua na wewe na sisiri hapa mimi naweza omba tu kwa heshima kwa heshima tu na si kwa ubaya venye tumeongea hapa itolewe tu kwa media ndio isikuje tena ikuja kuleta ishu ingine yenye si mzuri na Jeff Jeff mwenye unaona hapa Jeff mimi alikuwa anataka kujua Kenya venye nalala hadi venye kulinyesha Jeff alikuja hadi huku akakuja hadi pale kwa gate Jeff akapata gate imefungwa Jeff akazunguka all the way na huko mpaka kwenye uliona anapitia kwa sewage Jeff akakuja akafika hapo akaona maji akaona e eh, na hapa si tutabebwa sasa ilibidi akanipigia simu na mimi venye alinipigia simu siku wa huku already nilikuwa nishatoka nikaenda nikapewa nyumba nyingine na hapa na venye nilipewa hiyo nyumba sasa ilibidi nitulie huko no na thank na thank Jeff Morori TV ju ali saa hiyo venye kuliko kunanyesha nikamwambia ali aliyafika hadi hapa Okay, yeah. ku defend your story unasema itolewe kwa mm -hmm. sababu tumekuwa na wewe na hujasema story imotole, itolewe. Mm -hmm. Hii video tunafanya ndio ina defend your story. Yeah. Hii story tunafanya sasa hii ndio mm -hmm. ina defend yeah, your story. Ina, mm -hmm. So watu watashindwa tukitoa, watu yeah. watashindwa tunaifanya hii ya nini? Yeah. So ungesema mwanzo tuitoe kabla tujafanya hii. Sijui kama umenielewa. Yeah. Lakini niko na swali moja. Mm -hmm. Kabla ni kuje nikufanyie interview, mm -hmm. ulikuwa umesaidika kwa Jeff Jeff alikuwa amenisaidia sana. Si Jeff, mm. wa, wa, fans wake walikuwa wamekusaidia. Sana. Sana. Ile issue ilikuja ni mambo na do. Juu sasa huyo mtu anani confuse akili yangu akijua. Tena hata wewe unaweza unaweza feel venye mimi niko. Tulikuwa na wewe na ninajua yeah. ulikuwa. Unaweza feel venye mimi niko that ati 
naambua hivi na venye naambua si hivyo mm, but ungeteka step uulize Jeff because usiko na namba yake and you used sasa, to get so sasa mwana amekuja kukwambia mm -hmm. umetumiwa do nini nini vitu kama hizo because kuna watu wanatakanga kupul kuweka watu chini yeah, yeah. 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 yani akikisha amefanya kitu aput mtu chini so wewe kenye ungedu labda ungeuliza Jeff eh nimeambiwa hivi ama wewe mtu akutumie screenshot ya hiyo pesa alituma mm -hmm kuonesha kuwa it's true yeah. alituma so sijui kama alifanya hivyo lakini i hope to tuli agree tuli nilionyesha hadi jeff mm -hmm hadi saa hii nimemuonesha nikamwambia line yangu ilikuwa imehakiwa okay. na Jeff ameumwa sana juu angekuja kwa line apate sina pesa okay. angetaka kujua sawa wakati tuli tulifanya hii mambo yote kuliendaje kulifikaje pesa kimu auna juza ye mwenyewe ameona ni ukweli simu yangu ilikuwa imehakiwa na singepata do ningepata line yangu iko 00 i hope kuna wengine tuli, niliwapigia simu nikamwambia hadi niko safaricom nika post hivi nikiwa safaricom wakini angaliria line ya yeah. Okay so kabla kabla Jeff akuja atueleze mm -hmm. Jeff ni Mororo TV kabla kuja atueleze mm -hmm. uko na plans gani kama ulikuwa umepoa pesa ya ku, ya ku, ya kuchange maisha yako Mimi naweza taka maisha yangu i change juu hadi Jeff nimemuonesha amount yenye niko nayo na niliweka hadi kwa group na venye niliweka kwa group Jeff alifurahia sana na akaniambia afadhali hivyo nilikuja juu hizo pesa zingepotea kuongezemekana ni ukweli ni mimi nimeku nimekura mm -hmm. na mimi namshukuru sana juu ame, ame yani hadi nimemwomba msamaha pole sana Jeff mm -hmm. pole na unisamee mm -hmm. hakuna mwenye afanyangi makosa hadi mtoto anapiganga TV na, na kikombe na inakufa na uwezi wa mtoto okay, yeah. kwa hivyo Jeff aizi kubali kuniua juu ya issue yenu so, so ni Jeff anaweza kuja sasa atueleze yeah. from his side yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jeff ka, karibu at least tukusikie pia Yeah. <laughs> Najef wa kikaribia yeah. uh, Guys who are watching us from your homes uh, Mumesikia hiyo story vile inaendelea mm -hmm. Na hiyo ndio kitu inafanyanga We are afraid of posting someone's problems yeah. Pale kwa channels zetu Because watu wa, kuna watu wazuri sana Kenyans wana, wana, Huwa wanasaidiana Wa Kenya huwa wanasaidiana Especially wale watu wako abroad Wanapenda kusaidia sana their own So wakati una, una uh, story ya mtu wao wanatakanga wajue vile na sasa sababu wewe ndio mwenye hiyo story wanataka wa direct vile wanaweza saidia huyo mtu na sasa hii ndio kitu inafanyanga we are afraid uh, sitasema uh, my brother hapa ameapologize na hiyo mambo ime, imeenda ni kama inaisha na Jeff I think sahi yako in good spirit but Jeff ajalala usiku mzima tumekuwa tukicommunicate na ye hadi jana hadi asubuhi because there are some people who are threatening him about his channel sijui kunaenda sijui tutafanya mm, unaona yeah. na we have we have used a lot of money a lot of resources ku, ku, kufika hapa penye tumefika ndio tuone kama platform yetu inaweza saidia mtu before your platform ifike ya kusaidia mtu tumetumia tume, tumeenda gharama kubwa sana so hizi eh, ndio vitu zinafanyanga tuna take tahadhari ya ku air story za mtu kuna story tulifanya mimi sasa as for me kuna story nilifanya ya mtu tu alikuwa na shida shida mwingine akani DM akaniambia up to now ako hospitali ana need 1 million alijifungua like 3 months ago twins na ameshindwa kulipa bill so amem hold hospitali juu ya story nilikuwa nimefanya but hiyo story nilikuwa nimefanya kitambo so mtu akaangalia aka kwa platform nika refresh hiyo story so nikashindwa hii story yenye inaendelea sasa hii ya Jeff. Mimi naweza enda nichukue mtu mwingine nifanye story yake. Hiyo hiyo mambo ya Jeff inipate tena mimi na mimi siwezi taka. So tuna kuna mtu labda na, unaweza kuna wale watu wamebarikiwa unaweza taka kusaidia mtu. Lakini huyo mtu mwenye anasaidiwa naye eh ikue labda expectations zake ziko juu sana. Ana expect sasa umesha umesha tumia platform so pesa zinafaa ku flow. In which that is not the case. Kuna watu wengi sana ambao tuna air stories zao na hawapati msaada. Si lazima mtu unajua kusaidia ni kwa raw. Mimi naweza kuja hapa hata nifanyie ujamaa interview na nimwachie hata kama 2000, nimwambie nunulie mtoto pamba. Hiyo haija solve anything. Kuna watu wanatakanga kuona wameshikilia mtu hadi ametoka mahali penye yako. So watu kama hao wanatakanga eh, clear information na watakangi kupeleko peleko hivi hivi. As we speak now, watu wenye walikuwa wameamua wame kusaidia u brother, kuna wengine hata wame leave that group because wameona there is no transparency and I'm very sure wakiona hii video watajua what happened na pressure yenye ilikuwa na nini na nini na hiyo simu vile ilikuwa na issues. So tungependa Jeff atueleze his side of the story tukiendelea, sio? Mm. Nasema mwapi? Sawa, hapa ni sawa. Hai, unaweza simama hapa? Because of nini camera. Achika simama karibu na mimi. Yes, mama hapo. Sawa, habari zenu wa Kenya walio hapa nchini na maybe wale walio nje ya nchi. Mimi kwa majina yangu najulikana kama Jeffa, niko hapa on behalf of Morori TV. Mimi ndo nilifanya story ya Kim na first nilifanya kwa lugha ya Kikuyu. 
na wasi wengine wakuja comment wakasema you should do that story kwa lugha ya Kiswahili uh, na kwa ile interview uh, kama kawaida zile interview zote tumefanya kwa Morori tunekanga namba ya Morori kwa hii kona ya hapa juu ndio wale watu nataka interview pia watupigie through that number it's an Airtel number but kwa namba ya mwenye tunafanyia charity tunekanga hapa kutukie kama jina zake which tulieka kwa namba ya Kim na tukaeka namba iko hapo baka saa hii so after tulifanya story siku ya kwanza uh, the same day kuna mama alinitumia 1000 kwa hiyo namba ya Airtel na nikapigia Kim yeah, na nikamwambia yeah, yeah. kuna mama alinitumia 1000 kwa namba ya Airtel sijai withdraw kwa Airtel but niko na 1000 yako afadhali nikuje nikusort mini baki uh, nikijua venye nda withdraw hiyo Airtel cause nili change tulichangia namba ya Safaricom ndo ikue ya Airtel kwa sababu Airtel ndo mtu anakuanga na shida kutuma pesa so after we did the story uh, watu wa diaspora na watu wengi wakasema not to form group na nikakuja hapa tukafanya another video ya Kiswahili wakasema to form group before hata nifike home Kim had already formed a group ya WhatsApp so the following day ju uh, tulimaliza na hapa jioni usiku uh, ndio nampigia tu tengeneze group ya WhatsApp kanambia hata nilitengeneza immediately nikamwambia then ni add kuni add na wase wakaanza kuingia mimi nika get immediately nika get link kim hajui kupata link kwa ile group so nikaanza ku share link watu waingie kwa group wakati watu waingia kwa group wakakuja wakasema now we need accountability ya pesa most of, most of the charities si ufanya kwa morori zinakuanga hivyo watu wanataka accountability at first tulikuwa tuna disagree na kim kwa sababu kim hajui fanya project nyingine na hajui how money is handled so kim was for the idea ya account nikamwambia kim account wale watu wanaweza deal na account ni wase wako Kenya peke yake but wa majuu hawezi deal na pay bill the only the can only they are in a better position to do with mpesa na mpesa wanatakanga pia umtumie majina yako mm. so kim wale walikuwa watumia majina akiambia anaitwa joram kimani wangoi walikuwa na shida ya kumtumia pesa but mimi najua mpesa ya kim inatoa joram wangoi So wengine nilikuwa nawaambia no it's not Joram Kimani Wangoi it's Joram Wangoi. So after that waka suggest now jo ile condition tuliona kwa Kim kuko mnaona hapa ni kando ya mto nyumba ya Kim ni mabati security issues nilikuwa nimechukua hivyo jia baka venye iko and all that. Nilikuwa nimefanya tu kama ka documentary. So wakasema for security purposes and for accountability we need someone neutral badala ya Kim. Kwa sababu saa hii hata ndo nilikuwa namuuliza tukakuja hapa akuje hapa onyeshwe gani? tunajua uko na do tu forwardi hiyo do itaenda tu hivyo na maybe wasa online hawata hawata amini watasema msi ana tupanga mm. so they decided we need a neutral person kwa hiyo group ukaangalia pale juni kwa nimesema i might be busy cuz i'm doing other shows so mkiona siongei sana mnaweza but endelea to discuss i'll join you along wakuja waka suggest uh, wanahitaji mtu neutral for accountability ndio aweze kujua venye kujipanga venye anaweza panga kim I called Kim. Waka, then waka, mmoja akuja akasema I suggest Jeff kwa sababu tumejua Kim through Jeff. through Jeff. Wengine wakasema I've done these charity works with Jeff before so I second it. So wase wakuja wakai second and all that. Uh, timu yangu ya majuu nao nikawatumia link na wakaanza kuingia. Kuingia uh, Kim kumpigia akaniambia huko barabara nikamwelezea it's like sijui kama Kim haku understand. So vinye tulikaa na mtu wa kwanza akatuma 600 bob kwa kaka kidogo mimi nikaona e eh, nimetolewa admin nikashindwa kunendaje kutoka hapo kim hako anashika simu but kwa kuwa kuna ka issue issue sasa then that is i'm talking now about is it juzi ama yesterday yeah, ni, ni two days yeah. sasa nikaona nikaona nimetolewa admin kuna nimetolewa admin nikashindwa kunendaje watu wakaanza kuuliza what's happening kim naye akakuja akasema hapana hiyo namba imekuwa hapo mimi sijui yangu ni ni hii and so if you in such group utaona eh hapa ni kama kuna ka disagreement but watu wanasema sisi it's not jeff mwenye alijichagua ni sisi tuliappoint jeff aku accountable wakaniambia tafuta namba yenye hautumi si yako personal yenye hautumi uweke pale ndio na nikaongea kimi nikamwambia uh, what do i do this is one of my charity number hii namba kutoka leo ile do itaingia hapo nda kutolea statement at the end of the project uone yote kim hako understand hiyo cause anashindua bona mtumie pesa yangu you know it's uh, mimi namuelewa cause it's his first time mm-hmm. uh, sometimes tunakuanga na hiyo shida but ukipata mtu anaelewa inakuanga smooth kim akaanza kusema mbona tusiyake pay bill bora tusiyake account for him i understand watu wa us watakuwa na shida kumtumia pesa so after we did all that 
lakini bado ishi kazidi sasa then huyo akakuja wakafanya interview Cecilia wana, alikuja akafanya interview nikana na hiyo akisema e watu wa media wamekula pesa yangu watu wamekuja wanachukua na serve na explain mimi naona eh maze umse ni venye tu hanihitaji ni mimi so nikaanza kushindwa mimi ni dogo gani nimekula kupigia kimu hashiki simu yangu ananirudishia ka message i'm okay I'm, don't put the bro i'm okay so hiyo story acha niwaambie sijalala two days i had to call someone naambia maze mimi niombe cause Uh, the struggles I've done to build this channel, I can't stand to see someone killing it in a day and come bring it. Mimi ni medhiriteniwa, hata kuna usari nidhiriteni baka nikoleza. Muko wapi ni kuje tu badala mkuna haso kubwa ya kunitafuta. I'm ready kutowa hizo statement za laini zangu zote kakuna pesa nimekula or anything. Sasa jana after video yako ilianza kuenda viral ndo watu walianza kukuja wana watch story huko then unakuja na comment kwa muroyo wanasema eh hamjamwekea namba na shindwa hatujakea kim namba mtu mmoja hiyo interview kwa na namba ya kim hatujamwekea namba how mimi nimetukano kwa channel aninu kianza kutukano kwa channel katrend ka moja kaanze hivi zinaanzanga hivi eh wamekula do hata leo tukiwa na yeye mm, yeah. kuna mama amepiga simu kutoka US hata hanisikizi ananiambia shame on you what 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 alikuwa anaongea mingi nasikia ameongea mingi sana nikijaribu kumsikiza nikamwambia mama hata tuko na kimu hapa can he clarify anything akata so leo nikasikia nimekosa amani yesterday i had to cancel all the interviews today i had to cancel all the interviews niliandika hata kwa hiyo group nikasema mimi sifanyi charity ingine sisaidi watu tena wacha watu tu wakae na mashida zao but wengine wanakuja inbox wananiambia bro siache kusaidia watu endelea kufanya juu mimi kim sijamwambia sijamlipisha sijamwambia nataka pesa yeyote nilimwambia mimi nimekufanyia hivyo watu wa kusaidia hata nikitumia watu wangu group ile ile usaidia wasema maju na watu miangalia link roho safi nikipost pale nilipost roho safi so nikaona nimekosa usingizi yani nikaambia my camera guy nikamwambia director wangu nikamwambia no we need to go mimi nikamwambia mimi ndavumilia nikienda polisi yesterday night i had to call cecilia kwa sababu ilikuwa inakaa nikaa pia mimi na, na Cecilia tunapigana kwa sababu ile story alifanya ni kama haijaniendea poa. I had to call her tumeongea na Cecilia baka saa saba na nusu ya usiku. Nikamwambia mimi I need Kim to clarify this. Kim wakati jam obvious he was provoked amepo pressure na wase. To some point alitaja Jeff ni amekula do. Na hiyo story kanifikia. So haikuenda poa na mimi. So nikajua the only way Kim hanishiki simu. Tukurudisha nyuma kidogo wakati walifanya interview tikima na lala nje kunanyesha. Mimi mwenyewe nilim text nikamcall hakushika. Ah uh, nikamtext. Venye nilikuwa na shake siku kula. Nikaambia tu my director come drive me. Let's go. Kukinyesha tulikuja baka hapa venye kimu amesema. Okay. Tukapata gate imefungwa. Mimi nampigia simu na mtext namwambia bro kama huna mahali pa kulala can you come spend at my place. Wale watu majua kaniambia Jeff can you go na kama huna pesa ya mafuta useme tukuweke. Uende uchukue kimu umekishwa kimu kwa safe na mtoto. Nashika. So wakati nikuja hapo kuchukua simu, I called nikasema mimi kimo hajanishikia simu. I felt destroyed nikijua all these have done at good faith. So wakati nilipeleka waka, sasa niliona kimo ashiki simu. Nikamwambia jamaa ama tungangane turuke huku tuingie nikamwambia but dot kaniambia kaniambia na kwa sababu hatujui machungu ya kimi imefika wapi. What if tuingie then kesho uone amefanya ka video amesema hata walikuwa wamekujia pesa walikuwa wameku. So nikamwambia let's go back tukarudi. So leo asubuhi nikaambia jana usiku nika decide. Ju nimepata audio moja kimo akisema mimi nimekula pesa yake na ako na evidence I'm going to the police station. So leo nikakuja police station, nikaongea na polisi nikamwambia mimi kuna mtu ananiharibia jina na iko hivi na hivi na mimi sitaki yashikwe, sitaki yafungiwe. I just want you people just to mediate between me and him, I clarify. Na tukaenda uh, nataka kushukuru sana watu wa Saika Police Station. Uh, and especially uh, officer Mo- Obama inaitwa Obama, Obama Obama police station wamekuja wametusaidia tuka have tuka negotiate na wakatombea and then mkae chini hata hamna vita na tukaongea vizuri Kim akasema me i did it out of anger aka explain Kim ni message za Mpesa i think someone tried to hack his line so message za Mpesa hazikuwa zinaingia so watu wanamwambia amemtumia pesa na kwa kwa Mpesa messages haziingii mashika i think a uh, jana nakwambia alikuwa ameenda kwa safaricom safari e, kufungua line mm-hmm. ndo akaambiwa line yako someone tried to hack that's why hata message hazikuwa zinaingia no that so kimu ndo aka realize akaulizwa so pesa zote ziko jeff amekula pesa yoyote aka confirm mimi sijakula pesa yote ya kimu na na hapo 
kimo akaniomba msamaha na nikamwambia bro mimi nakuelewa cause i did it out of good faith na makarawa akatuambia sasa mimi nika na karawa akamwambia na since ulifanya video we will request you uklie jina ya huu mtu kwa sababu unamharibia maisha yake na kimo hakuwa na pingamizi that's why we called you uh, akuje aongea ajiongea speak out yesterday kuna kiongozi mmoja wa hii nilikuwa nimemfanya interview Ana, ananijua sana mimi si mjui vile lakini ananifahamu vizuri nilikamkujua ni best ya Kim wakati aliona kwa sababu Kim alikuwa ameweka kwa ile group wakati aliona vinyetu tunazozana pia alitrai kuita Kim akamwambia that guy you are messing with i know Jeffa he's a clean guy hajaifanya vitu kwa zote na kama kuna mtu anaweza kusaidia ni huyo Jeffa atakufuata baka ubaki umesetu cause ameona project kadhaa nimefanya. So nikamwambia huyo ndo sasa akaita Kim na akanyamazisha Kim, akaambia na akaambia Kim Jeff ako Malindi. So walikuwa nadhani nilienda Malindi mimi nikamwambia hata si kuenda hata hiyo Malindi kwa sababu uh, stress hazingeweza. Acheki. Mimi jana nilikaa hata nilikuwa naongea na my friend Waidumu Moshiri na mwambia mimi nasikia nika kuna panya zinatembea kwa tumbo ndani juu na shindoa. Ni pesa gani nimekula? Niko nuliza direct yangu na mwambia maze mimi nimekula do na simu yangu na unafuliza even kuna group nili chat nikasema hivyo watu oh, ya yeah, online so the story is Kim Hana Makosa i think is just a mere under, misunderstanding kidogo na ndio venye haku amepata sms zake za pesa angefeel uchungu na muunderstand angelia pia kwa sababu ku imagine watu nakwambia nimetuma 50000 hauzioni kwako and i think Kim ajui kuangalia maneno ya pesa i think it's for the first time maybe ana handle such big mm. amount and all that so me ni mamuelewa because this is not the first case i'm handling so uh me and kim we have no issues kim is in good hands pesa ya kim iko safe ame confirm hakuna hata bob imepotea ame confirm hakuna pesa yote imekuliwa one thing i would urge was our online if you ever see any story if you ever see any story na u feel maybe uh, kuna kitu imeenda before kabla ukimbie kutukanana na that's why venye nilifanya interview yake ya kwanza ya kikuyu Uh, niliambia wase we are not here to discuss the wife we are here because of the child because yeah. mimi niko hapa juu mtoto families zo break watu uko sana hata niliambia kimu nikamwambia hata leo nimemwambia kim nyinyi mkisikizana na wife it's none of our business murudiane tu na muendelee na maisha ni maisha yenu all we want is to see baby elvis happy and living in a good family and hakuna story ingine the other thing i want to thanks kila mkenya yote na firata kusimama na kim all easy channels najua wateke ya kim namba yake hapa kuna wale wanauliza hii story ina gani? Kim aliachwa na wife yake na akaachwa mtoi wa one year under three months. Uh, na Kim amekuwa akifanya kazi ya boda boda. Abayo uh, amekuwa akifanya na mtoto amekuwa akimweka kwa jacket kama hujaona hiyo story that's why I'm saying this. Go watch that story. If you feel he's doing a noble job or like he's doing better and all good as a man. Nilikuja hapa nime witness Kim akiosha mtoi. Kim is very clean by the way. Ameosha hii nyumba sana, ameosugua sufuria nikiwa hapa and all that. So he's doing let's encourage him, let's support him. Atoki atakuwa hii nyumba ya mabati. If you feel mnataka kumjengea and all that. Musiogope. Namba yenye itaiko hapa ya Kim. Uh, nita help Kim kumtumia hiyo link, awatumie. Ukimuitisha tu link ya WhatsApp group akikupatia link ingia kwa group contribute tumchangie wale mnapiga kelele usipige kelele kama hujachangia kimu kama hujamnunulia pampas tafadhali msaidie mnunulie pampa let's support this so that even our fellow men can we can help even our fellow men to man up najua kuna watu wanakuja pale wanasema pia sisi tunachi yango watoi nimeona watu wengi sana tunachi yango watoi na tunalea yes but everything kuna kitu nakuanga na change kuna wanaume wamela na hii people have been complaining kim is a good example of a good man and then i'm sure i'm in talk with the wife so we hope things will be okay things will be okay so not unless mko na swali nyingine mimi niko sawa i'm at peace sahi nitakula vizuri nitalala vizuri na nashukuru kila mtu watu wa online watu wa maju watu ya diaspora thank you for the support you've accorded to hata kwa hizi online kama huja subscribe kwa any of this channel tafadhali make sure me subscribe let's support our young youth wacheni tusaidiane ni sawa na watu waniombe sana bibi yangu akuje. <laughs> Nampenda sana Jeff. Hadi wewe nakupenda. Okay, sasa niwaulize swali moja mm -hmm. mko na project gani sasa mkiwa nyinyi wawili ndio mururi uchenjie Kim maisha ku, ku, kutoka kwa platform yenye aliyompatia. We are still thinking kwa sababu mali Kim anaishi. Uh, we are thinking depending on the amount that we have. You know Kim alikuwa na bill ya boda boda yake ilikuwa na loan. Mm. Uh, so tunaona hata tukilipa hiyo loan yote 
na then kim hakuwa na driving license tumulipia driving license and all that maybe ile pesa itabaki pale ni kidogo sana so haiezi afford kumnunulia shamba na kumjengea mm. but what we are trying to do we've been discussing today tumetafuta how around how hapa ni about ni expensive mm. kidogo tunapata za around 10k na wale watu wameofa kumulipia wengi wanafika 5k so tuna reason wakimulipia uh, mwezi moja next month nani atamulipia so we have either two options either we repair this house iache kunyesha na itengenezwe vizuri venye haitaingia maji kima endelee tu kuishi hapa ile pesa kidogo itabaki tumwekee kazi ingine kando na ya boda boda asha niambi ile kazi natamani kufanya uh, na nikaona ni job poa na high cost much a lot ananiambia shaifanya before so uh, he's good at it anajua hiyo akiekewa itampick so if you can help him achieve his dream uh, hata teseka na umtoi kuna risk za umtoi akiwa na motorbike watu wengi wameziongelea pale wengine wanauliza maswali mbona side kwa daycare of all comfortable umtoi uh, umtoi wake analia sana mm. at time hata kuwa na amani baka mahali yako na pia kama wale single mothers and single fathers who are watching they can understand wakati mumeachana na mtu Una konga na uoga huo msesi kuja kubebea watu hii ende nao muanze kusumbua na so you still want to have that security ya mtoto wako mm. however much uh, mtoto anaumia all anything but we are hoping things will be okay for Kim we are praying for the best Kim tumweke job na vitu ziende sawa ndio tutoke kwa Kim tuende kwa project ya mtu mwingine okay. uh, uh, baki ni kufanya tu follow up okay. yes to wrap up now at least Kim ongelesha kuna wale watu bado watakuja wafanywe video wasaidiwe the same way kama wewe and then waru wafanye the mistake yenye wewe ulikuwa do just talk to them uh, waambie something kitu ya kwanza mimi kenya naweza sema watu wasiseme media ni mbaya media ni mzuri sana lakini mtu asikuwe na pressure unajua sometimes nimekuelezea ukikuwa na nini na pressure mingi utaongea kitu yenye hata hakuna unaona kwa hivyo unafaa kuongea ukuwe na limit ya kuongea ya yeah. Na watu wa media ni watu wazuri sana. Kama mmejifikisha hapa nyinyi wote na mume mmeangalia kila kitu, Jeff alijifikisha. By the way tumekuwa na Jeff kutoka asubuhi saa mbili hajatoka hapa. Na Jeff hata anapigiwa na watu wengi, hey, kuja tufanye interview." Anani, anasema no. Leo lazima niache kama Kim uko safe na uko poa na na, na, uko, na kila kitu yako yote iko sawa. Na bae, na tukiendelea hivyo nataka watu waone kuna change. Nikamuonesha amount nikamwambia amount ndio hii pesa pesa ili ya chakuhakiwa Jeff pole sana kwa yale yale ilitokea juu si wewe ulikuwa una hak nini na ungekuwa ni wewe ungekuja hapa ni kweli angekuja hapa ku confirm kama hizo pesa ziko yeah kuna watu wamekutolea pesa yeah wenye wana watch waambie kitu Jeff ah nani juwezi waacha hivyo at least hey, tell them something asante sana kwa wale wamenisaidia wamenisaidia na wataona Kenya tutafanya Yeah. Usisahau na mama, so, usisahau wa no. mama wa Kayole. <laughs> <laughs> na pia mama wa Kayole kaona, nimewaombea sana juu uko kona ukienda mwachungoa nini? By the by the way kuna siku Jeff alinipatanga gafura kama siku anatarajia. Alinipata pale na bag. Akapata bag hii bag imebeba kila kitu, si matunda, si mboga, viazi ziko ndani, carrot, everything iko hapo ndani. Pia unawashukuru sana. Okay. Na mtu na mtu yake mbele na maombi. Okay, na wale wanakupigia simu juu ndio walifanya tukafanya video na ikakuwa hii story yote ikakuja yeah. wenye wanakupigia simu wanakwambia umetuma pesa na hajatuma eh, unaweza waambia nini kama hao unajua sometimes unaweza kuwa umenitumia do ama hujatuma wewe una wewe unaona tu imekuletea jora mkemani no ijaleta no wewe unanipitia unatia unanitia asira ma, asira juu ya yenye niko nayo ya bibi yangu ya yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> off sababu tuko nje mm -hmm. so charges zote zetu za, za lights zimeisha so even though tutafungia tu hapo even though mid iko msoto even tuko lakini Mungu atatubariki tu tungeweza kufanyia kwa nyumba because the house is so small na vile mnaona hapa hata tunaona panya zikipita hapa na vile tunajikuna hata nashangaa huyu mtoto Mungu anamlinda tu alafu as you can hear kuna maji inateremka pale kuna watu from sewage from bathroom sijui ni toilet ina drain tu hapo hiyo maji mnasikia hapo so guys tungependa tu kima saidike na kima to understand maybe Uh, we have no interest ya mambo yake ni vile tu sisi uh, tunaweza kosa kusaidia lakini tuko na platform so, mtu anaweza kuja kumsaidia tunaweza kuwa tuna hiyo pesa ya kumpatia move lakini tuko na platform tunaweza mpatia at least watu wanaweza msaidia so so tunazidi ku tafadhali yeah. supportini Kim 
Kim uh, supportini Kim kuna wale ndio sema wanatafuta bwana wanambii wana ah, zebra no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. na wengine wanasema niletea huyo mtoto <laughs> so guys as we wind up kuna Castro Media kuna Trudy Kitui kuna Morori TV kuna Kororia TV kuna Sisiria kuna Moshene hizo hizo platforms zote msubscribe Zediman eh, mtapata na hii video huko ndani ndani eh, kuna Tempaya kuna Tempaya yes yeah. 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 venye venye mimi ni suggest <laughs> yeah. nikipatia mtu mwingine huyu mtoto mm. si kama venye atamlea kama bibi yangu yeah, sasa nika nika suggest aje wacha nigoje na si sitakiwa opportunity tuambie bibi arudi hapa na wewe bibi kitu mwanze mwambie mkosea mwambie atakao umekosea brother maybe huyu bibi yako alitoroka sababu maybe ya environment aliona hapa yeye mwambie saa hiyo mwambie saa hiyo online watafanya kitu bro mna hama poa mimi hata penye yako i hope ananiona tu apigwe tu hata si huruma yangu yenye tu nateseka na huyo mtoto ju sometimes unaona kama saa hii niko na huyo ga jeff ju sitokei saa hii watu wengi wanajua sina driving license mm. ndio mm. mtu adui atakuja kuangukie mm. na akikuangukia kitu ya kwanza unaendesha pikipiki una driving license hiyo ni uko na uko na mtoto hiyo ni makosa mm. sasa hii niko na uoga niko kwa nyumba mm. siezi toka sasa hii sasa mtoto wangu umeona bibi yangu si umemuona bibi asijaona bibi nimeona mtoto huyo huyo sasa ndio bibi yangu alinioa sasa huyo siezi muachilia tunakuanga naye hapa kwa hapa mtoto wangu natakanga kai smart i hope umeona mm. na msafishanga na kaanga smart Shi, penye uko acha asira. Rudi tu kwa nyumba. Mwite bibi, bibi kam. My dear, kuja tu. Najua hata hawa watu wote hizi 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 video zote unaona hapa. Hizi hawa watu wote wa media wako hapa. I hope naweza hata hata wakukujie. Sema tu penye uko. Wataungana tu. Takusindikisha nyuma. Mwambie, mwambie watu uko sana bibi. Rudi tu. Manze. Naweza furahia tukiwa na wewe. Mimi siezi suggest kuwa na mtu mwingine. Eh, tumeishiwa na na beti tumefunga. So guys, subscribe to our YouTube channels na msaidie kijana. Sawa? Yes.